Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, we've got a, we've got a little dust storm going on here. That's cool. All right, where am I actually going? Go to the Palace of the Sun of Meridian. Can't fast travel to you. All right. So good being able to fast travel unhindered by resources. Alright, where are we going? This way. I'm sure you do. Excuse me, lads. Coming through. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I wasn't asking you anything. Talk to a vad. Okay, sure. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Uh. Did she? I, c I can't remember what she said now. Hold on. Okay, technically that was cheating looking back at one of my old videos, but she does mention him. She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. All right. Go to the warehouse. Got more side quests down there, but we've been uh, dwelling on those for the last few episodes, so let's push the story on a bit. Thank 
you, boys. A moment of your time, Outlander? What did you want to talk about? You were an Outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. Until I took an arrow to the knee. I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. <coughs> Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. All right. have these collecting metal flowers but I can't see where I can trade them in. No, I'm not getting rid of that, no. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Everyone needs a splash of colour in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Alright. He's a bit weird. Oh, you're still here. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Well, what's with the music? Oh, gas. Oh no, that's Blaze. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Hmm. I wonder how you deduced that, Aloy. Something stripping from the ceiling. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. All right, we won't be touching that then. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. It'll 
looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamic you still have. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is an Uber. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. It's finished. Boot tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Gotcha. Did the mayor have something to do with the Get explosion? You and Hurry up. Of of Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! Ah, uh, yeah, a time without fire what engines. Happened? I haven't had a blast like that since the liberation. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fire things? No, I'm busy. I have uh, right sleuthing to do. Mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Ah, here we go. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Right, do I still have his his tracks? down that would make more sense all right so this is how they snuck into the city I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit, Carpet. Well, you're not going to be seeing anyone on their knees. I'm taken care of. <sighs> Deval, your boys are dead. Sorry, not sorry. Look at you, Avad. 
the wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian of Art. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. <laughs> it didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! I can't spare the weight. Oh, I need to go after him. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. This isn't over yet. Quinn. Oh shit! Why does a god always have his ladies do the fighting? Branch out! Hey, you sneaky fuck! It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tenko will tell you. Always have a third plan. Day for one of us. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Oh. Ah, those majestic, murderous flint hawks. As I wish Ursa was here to kill you. I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. 
Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Proud of you, Erend. He's a good boy. Who do I have to talk to? Talk to Avad, talk to Erend, and I can talk to Deval. Let's talk to Avad as he's closest. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Oseron devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Well, you can say that about a lot of, uh, a lot of people. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least... Not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Hey, cool, so it sounds like they're not going to betray me. Yay! Yeah, right there, Aaron. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but 
I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. Damn Skippy. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? <laughs> well, she likes me. <laughs> oh, I love these two. Alright. Oh, talk to Duval is not there. Interesting. Alright. No matter. Right, what can we do next? Oh, I have skill skill points to spend. Let's just get that one. There we go. And those are all three. Good hunt. To a good hunt indeed. Right, what? I came in here for a reason. Quests. Uh, City of the Sun. Alright, what about side quests? Ancient Armory. Store power to the bunker door. Oh, yeah. Investigate the bunker. Errands, hunting lodge in the foreign lands. What's that one? Investigate the forsaken village. All right. Let's see what that's about. Oh wow, you're all, all the way back here. must have come across Captain Ballon's patrol here. We've got machines over there. Okay, there's got to be something around here. I'm supposed to look at them. Long day. And a longer night ahead, most likely. Mm. 
more like more than likely Aloy. What am I actually looking for around here? Investigating. Ah, there's something else up here. All right. Okay. No. Investigate the Forsaken Village. Okay, okay, but what am I investigating? I've completely forgotten what this one was for. Oh well. You know what? We can pick this up in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.